Hey, what's up guys? Imran here, Monster Gadgets. I hope you're all having a wonderful day wherever you might be. Thank you so much for joining me. And in today's video, we're taking a look at three key accessories for your Tesla Model 3. These are by Jawa. The first one is a multi-device wireless controller that you can use to play games in your Tesla. The second one is a mini LED hub. And the third one is a 100 watt car charger. So let's go ahead and dive into it. All right guys, welcome back. So for those of you that might be new to my channel, all my videos are timestamped below. So if you wanna go ahead and skip to one accessory that caught your attention, go and hit the bar down below, right by the thumbs up button and subscribe button. Make sure you hit those while you're along the way. But if you wanna fast forward to one of your one of the sections that sparked your interest, that's where you would do it. Or if you wanna stick around for the whole video, of course, that would be very well welcomed. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. First, we have the Jawa multi-device wireless controller. And full disclosure, all three of these devices were sent to me for free by Jawa to go ahead and review. And as you know, on my channel, I always do honest reviews and they're all my opinion. I do not let Jawa or any other company dictate what I say or not say. So rest assured, these are my honest reviews uh, on these products. So first one, we've got uh, the Jawa multi-device wireless controller. So let's go ahead and unbox this. <laughs> We've got a nice little display here showing us what each of these buttons are. Um, and so this is how we're welcomed. And then as you open that, we've got the controller inside along with some quick connection guides. So it tells you step by step on how to get these set up. So let me go ahead and take these rings off the controller, go ahead and pull the controller out. And uh, so this controller actually comes in two different variants, one with the wood finish here, this is what they sent me, and then they have another one that uh, is a uh, carbon fiber type of finish. So if any of these devices uh, spark your interest and you wanna go ahead and pick them up, I will go ahead and leave a link in my description below, along with if you wanna use my promo code, which is MONSTER, you actually get 5% off any of these accessories or anything on their website. All right, so as you look at the controller here, we've got uh, your typical you know, joysticks, uh, directional pad, as well as a few buttons. I like the way this is magnified. I'm sure you guys can tell on the, the camera here, uh, B-A-Y-X. But I'm not gonna go through all these buttons, but you've got uh, your connection port for your USB and a sync button on top here, and then a small branding in the front. I always love how Jawa brands their stuff. It's not overly like in your face, it's kind of hidden enough to get the message across of which company this is. So it's very subtle and I absolutely love that about Jawa. The back is plain. You've got uh, your standard uh, fine print there for uh, voltage and, and things like that. So let me go ahead and put this down here. Let's see what else is inside. You've got a wireless controller user manual and then it looks like you've got a USB cable along with a few adapters. So Jawa always takes care of the people and uh, always gives these nice adapters. So if you've got an older Model 3, for example, and you've got a normal USB versus a USB Type-C, uh, it gives you the USB Type-C to USB-A cable adapter, which is really nice. So Jawa, thank you for, for doing that. So now I'm gonna go ahead and put this box aside. Um, let's see what the instructions say. It says here, step one, switch the con controller on multi-device switch and select connection mode. Uh, wireless USB, dongle, PC, and Tesla. So these you can hook up to, by the way, your PC, uh, iPad, and other devices to use on there as well. Bluetooth, Apple, and Android devices. And then you can hook it up to your switch and then your power on uh, wired connection. So step two, press the home button to activate the controller. Step three, press and hold the sync button for three seconds until you see the LED light. Flash quickly and start pairing. Please plug in USB dongle first if you select wireless device or wireless mode. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, that's going to be this USB connection here. So let me go ahead and plug this into my USB port. First, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and use the actual adapter here. Plug that in to the USB type C since I have the USB Type-C connection, um, and I'm gonna put this in directly into my car instead of the hub. So let's go ahead and do that. That's in there. 
I'm gonna go ahead and power this on. Hold this down, one, two, three, let go. Go ahead and show you. Let's go ahead and start playing game and see if this actually works. Um, I didn't see it blink multiple times, so I'm not sure if I missed something, but it might already be synced. So let's give it a shot. As we are in the game, you can see if I press down, it is now able to pick up on uh, the controller. So let's go ahead and pick one player. Yeah, that's fine. I'm gonna go to that one. We'll go to perform. Should we go ludicrous? Let's go ludicrous. <laughs> so now we're going to control this with the steering wheel or by the controller here. So there's absolutely. I mean, this is really responsive. I don't really see a lag in here. I don't really play this game that often, just so you don't. Know. Alright, so this seems to be working really well. You guys can see it's very responsive, there's no lag in here. First place, just like that. All right, enough playing. Let's get back to work. All right, let me go ahead and exit out of there. So that is how you pair up the controller and set it up to your Tesla. Um, it looks like you got an indicator here. It looks like it's probably for uh, the battery right now. It's uh, one. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in and let it charge. But as you guys can see here, I've got the dongle plugged in right there in my USB. So if you wanted to run it run a cable to it and, and hook it up to um, with a USB cable you can do that or you can go ahead and do it wirelessly so um, I'll certainly play around this a little bit more but it looks like it's uh, very responsive and pretty easy to to sync up to your Tesla all right let's go ahead and move on to the next accessory all right next we will take a look at the Jawa mini LED hub bar um, these are for your center console here but let's go ahead and unbox this same thing here. I love the packaging uh, Java has. These are very simple and very easy to read and um, more like a Apple type setting. So uh, Java, good job. On top here, it tells you you've got two USB type A's and uh, for data, you've got a USB type C, 18 watt, and then you've got your LED on and off along with, this is where the LED lights are in the bottom. And then you've got your USB type C connection that kind of goes underneath. Uh, so this hub stays on top. So if you have watched my previous video, Jawa did send me this hub, which I did a full uh, video on. So go ahead and check out that video. I'll go ahead and card it. But this this one, my older one uh, by Jawa goes right in here into the center console underneath um, the, the door here. But this new one is supposed to sit more so on top. So let's go ahead and open this up. Simple enough, just uh, the hub itself. And um, let's put that aside. And it looks like you go ahead and basically plug this USB Type C into the USB port in the bottom here. So let me go ahead and plug that in. Just like that. And then this just sits right on top here. And it gets uh, supposed to get flushed in, I believe just like that. So when you close this, this closes just like that and then you've got your connections and everything right on top. It looks like it's literally part of the actual interior of your Tesla. The colors match perfectly and of course this door, if I move this out, will close all the way but the way it's set up, it, it just closes up to the port. So that way if you want to use the older hub and have that underneath, you can have that underneath and you can just open this and use it or you can go ahead and use this new hub where you don't have to open it. You've got access to your port right on top here. So let's go ahead and look, take a look at the LED. So if you press this button here, it's got LEDs on it. So that way you've got light coming inside the, the box here as well. So one thing that I, I'm not sure if this is supposed to move around like that or not, but um, 
that might be something that maybe Java can work on. Maybe put something sticky here so that way it actually sticks and not like move around. So Java, just some feedback for you on that. Um, but if I was to go ahead and open this, if I was getting something in it, I might like move this around, getting my hand in. That would be a bit of an annoyance. But easy fix. I'll just get a, if I want to keep this here, I'll just get a two-way tape. Put that there. That way it's not going to move around once I put my hand in. Go ahead and press that button again, LED comes off, and then again you got access to your ports right on top. So that is super nice, super clean, and uh, I love it. Just like that. It looks like it's original part of the Tesla. Alright, so I think personally I'm going to go ahead and probably use this one, um, but this one is also nice to have as well. It depends on your preference. This one I will say the older USB port. Uh, does give you more ports on it or USB hub. I'm sorry. It gives you more ports on it You've got two on top one the top here as well along with two more in the bottom So if you need the extra ports go with this USB hub uh, But if you need just a couple ports, then this one will be fine. And then you can also uh, Again have it flushed in with your with your console. So all right, that is that I will go ahead and leave that there the last thing I'm gonna go ahead and unbox and take a look at is the Java 100 watt car charger. Uh, this one is 100 watts, USB type C, USB A dual output. And then this is actually enough to go ahead and charge your MacBook or your laptop, so which is really cool. So let me go ahead and open this up. Oh, I like the finish on this. This is nice. So you've got your USB here, USB uh, Type-C in the bottom there. And uh, this has got a really nice branding here, but this finish, I don't know what kind of finish this is, but it's like silicone almost. Uh, feels good. Feels nice. It's got a good feel to it. Um, looks premium. So just so you guys know, the outputs on this is going to be... The outputs on this is going to be uh, 5 volts and 3 amps. And the input, of course, is uh, DC 12 volts to 24 volts. Alright, so let's go ahead and plug this in and take a look at uh, what this looks like plugged in. For those of you that might not know, your cigarette lighter is actually inside here right now. I've got my radar detector USB cable plugged in. I'm going to go ahead and plug that. And then you would basically plug this in. Just like that. I don't know how you guys can see that. I've got my baby wipes in there to clean my seats. And then this has got a small LED, if you guys see there, right on top to tell you it's powered in and plugged and working. So that's what that looks like plugged in. I personally will only use this when I am traveling and I've got my US and I got my laptop with me. Uh, again, this is enough to go ahead and power and charge your your laptop so this will come in handy for that but outside of uh, that I plan on using of course these USB ports for uh, my normal USB cables and of course I'm going to plug my controller in the controller will get plugged in right on top and uh, I would be able to use it if my batteries ever die or if I want to charge my controller so all right guys that's it for this video don't forget the link for all the items are in my description below and if you use the promo code monster you get five percent off your purchase from Java's website but hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.